have you ever thought about all the things that you need to get done and either felt a sense of dread, a sense of overwhelm, or a sense of resistance? Like, I just don't want to do that. If so, today's learning snack is for you. I'm Joe Ilfeld, CEO and founder of Insight to Leadership. And recently I was talking with a friend about an experience that many of us have that's really universal. This one of giving ourselves accountability. Like, I really need to do that. I should be doing this. I should have this done by now. And probably if you're in the work world and you're mostly human, you have these thoughts sometimes. I know I certainly do. And what we were discussing is how do you hold that value of accountability, but also the value of allowing the value of not just constantly pushing yourself and driving yourself. And I think that is a great question. And one of the things I've been thinking about recently is about teams and how teams can help you hold that accountability while also making it more collaborative, more fun. If you are someone who needs to externally process, maybe giving you people to bounce ideas off and ways of doing things or experiments you might want to run and seeing how it lands for them. Teams can also be a support when you are trying really hard to do something and it's not working. Maybe your partners aren't giving you the right support that you need. Maybe your vendors or contractors that you hired are not coming through or not coming through as quickly as you had hoped. Um, teams can be a way of buffering some of that disappointment when even when we've tried everything to our best, all the best laid plans, it still hasn't gone well. I think the other thing teams can do is they can sometimes point out when we're being unrealistic. Oftentimes, I bet many of you are high performers and you don't just want to get one thing done, you want to get 50 things done. And oftentimes, in that race to get all of the 50 things done, we end up having these expectations that are really not so realistic, maybe not humanly realistic for you, maybe not realistic for your organization or your team or the people who support you either. Maybe they don't have that capacity to work as hard, as long, as well as you do. And I think what our teams can often be is a great reflection to us of the fact that our accountability is too high. It's not possible. We are asking more of people than they can actually give at that moment for whatever reason that might be. Training, desire, um, skills, talent, whatever it might be. So maybe the next time you are feeling all these things that you want to do, all this accountability that you want to hold for yourself, what would it look like to take some of that accountability and collaborate with your team about it? This might be your team of peers that you work with. This might be your team that you lead. But bringing some of those things, those shoulds, those need to do's, the things that you want to drive forward, instead of just keeping them all in your head, bringing them out in the open with others that you work with and collaborate with so that they can both support you, reality check you, and also be a source of making your thinking even better than it was before.